start? Sure. All right. So I'm doing the LDAP integration, and um, I've got the Flask notebook set up, and I'm talking to Rado about some of the things I need to change and using the OpenID as a model for it. And um, today is actually to try and get working on the code, operating code, to be connected to the LDAP server and authenticating users. Um, that's it. OK. Uh, so I uh, started working on the Russian translation of the tutorial. There are still some pieces, so uh, mostly comments uh, which are not translated uh, in the code examples uh, that I'm uh, translating. Uh, I also got some ideas uh, how to work with uh, multiple lines uh, in uh, latex representations. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm currently working on uh, finalizing uh, reviews uh, for a few tickets. Cool. I'll be real brief since I'm going to talk about JMAL in a few minutes. I've got a version of the latest JMAL rendition running in the class notebook. Rado and I haven't gotten together on that yet, so that's one of the things we'll do today. Okay. Uh, we had a good newbie session last night for a couple hours, and uh, people are free to talk to me about that kind of stuff whenever if they'd like to. Uh, I'll let David talk about MathJack's progress, and uh, Bruce and I worked on some GeoGebra stuff, and I'll let him talk about that. Did you guys, did it result in any worksheets or anything that are new? The, Your, the session last night, did it result in no, any? No, there's no record. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, my few minutes of free time yesterday, I just made a list of all the tickets I'm thinking about working on today. But. During jury duty? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Volker. Um, so we worked on with, with Pushina. I worked on the um, symbolic stuff. We wanted we wanted to review all the pending tickets before we get to the real beefy problematic ticket where we change the order of the symbolic things. Because mm -hmm. right now we have an order that's not a strict weak order that that can't be used to sort reliably and some glibc versions will sec fold and some some are more wow. benign um, so that mean we will have to fix the ordering and then we'll have to fix all doc tests that depend on the ordering of symbolic terms mm. and i hope we can do that today and i also looked at some found some problem with the lll for trivial matrices that did sec fold wow. or that did well, hang forever. Which LLL is it? NTLs, FP, the, Triple the L? FP LLL oh. doesn't like degenerate matrices. Oh. So I uh, worked around that. Cool. Hi, so um, I've started working on GeoGebra stuff, and there's a sort of proof of concept that I had done before I got here where I um, cheated and, and pasted HTML. Um, that I had done before, strictly with GeoGebra into um, a notebook, HTML, and that works. And then there's a, a ticket, um, and it looks like there's some things that we can do. So I'll, I'm going to push forward on that. And I'll be looking to talk to people about JavaScript who know something about it. So. Cool. There's a pocket reference here. So. Good. Good. All right. Um, I've been working with Mike Hansen some on trying to migrate all the notebook servers into one place. and. Um, we made a kind of list of things to do. We were looking at the double underscore worksheets attribute of a notebook and noticed that there were some obvious code paths in the notebook right now that should basically um, hang the notebook for a half hour in an obvious way when it's running single threaded, um, it, where it like goes through about a million worksheets and stops them for stupid reasons and so on. So we came up with some strategies for trying to change this. Um, we also discussed how to database um, some of the notebook in a way to make things more efficient rather than just databasing for databasing sake. So um, we're going to work on that more today. That's our plan. So I've been working on some block design uh, methods and a better way to display block designs in the, in the notebook because when you build larger designs right now, it just kind of barfs all over the screen. This is Jason Hill, by the way. Right. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see who. Uh, next round. Who wants to go next? Right. Rado. Uh, so I've been helping various people with uh, getting up and running on the Flask notebook, and uh, uh, Bruce showed me uh, there's around 140 notebook tickets on the old track. So he started maybe 
slowly mm. going over. So then we just put it on the new notebook. Uh, first thing I did is uh, there's uh, just a very small thing that uh, adds uh, environmental variable for custom templates. Path. Nice. So that's the new. Sure. That makes sense at a notebook stage, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I repackaged Mercurial 1.8.4. Nice stuff on 10594 if anyone wants to take a look or review it. Um, also, did a lot more Mercurial consulting during the day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I used it. Very useful. Cool. Cool. All right. Ira? Um, I, yeah, I did some uh, rebasing on my open pull requests to make them easier to merge. And I uh, worked out some of the problems that would happen for embedding the single cell. I guess I'll work on try to work on some of the bugs in the single cell interact and try to implement a uh, new, more flexible syntax for interacts in the single cell. Cool. Okay. I successfully followed the newbie session. I <laughs> see. I tried to make a package for Latte, and today I'm planning to uh, start the translation to Greek. Then I'll cool. Uh, can we scroll down to the symbolics part of the project page? I looked through the symbolics tickets on track and created a list on the track wiki. Uh, okay, not this one, the project page. Yeah, yeah. Or on the track wiki, you can go to symbolic slash functions, for example. So I looked at the, I don't know, there are, I think, yeah. about 180 tickets all together in the symbolics and calculus components on track. So I sorted these out. <coughs> there are some, so if anybody likes to read track ticket descriptions, for example, there are 10 something tickets on integration and 10 something tickets on solve, and I'm sure there are lots of duplicates there, and some have been solved. So it would be nice to sort these out and pick out you know, what is the real problem in these tickets. Mm. And then there is a link to a page there for the, the track wiki page itself. Yeah. So, so this is a list of tickets which involve, so independent of this integration and solve, this is a list of tickets which involve symbolic functions. Most of these things could be beginner tickets. So if you want to, I don't know, do something small for symbolics, you could pick up one of these. I would be very happy to help and explain how things work. And some of these only need documentation. Some of these needs, you know, copying a class description from somewhere, and you edit a couple of lines, and it would be done. So this would, I don't know, increase the usability of symbolics a lot. Uh, and. One of the goals on the project page was actually writing documentation. I started writing documentation. You can see it says tips for implementing tickets, <laughs> one item. So I will work on that more. Then we looked at the long-term issues with focus for the ordering and uh, taking powers of number field elements, crashes, and things like this. Well, that's all. Cool. And I thought just that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carl? Yeah, so um, I feel like I helped a lot of different people on a whole bunch of relatively small issues uh, to them, but I, it was kind of nice to go around and meet a lot of people and kind of give them some ideas of where to look for things. Um, we also got ready for the uh, prep workshop that Jason and I are in the middle of right now. We're taking our lunch break. And then there's a whole bunch of random, mostly notebook-related tickets that I either reviewed as to needs work or gave some review or put a patch that I... Um, there, sometimes it just takes a while to figure out exactly why it is something works and then figure out how to make a doc test that actually tests that it fixed it. Um, so I did a lot of that kind of stuff and hope to do more of that uh, tomorrow especially. Okay. Um, I have not gotten much done yet. i um, working on uh, putting up a, a uh, 
um, some changes from the last stage dates that, that need to be uh, included with whatever the next stage releases. So that's my, my goal for today. Cool. Um, yeah, so yesterday I, I was able to uh, solve my bubble. What? So, uh, Your bubble? Yeah, the bubble and the, oh. the board. <laughs> First bubble popped. <laughs> oh, wow. Which bubble did you finished. pop? So my bubble was to translate REST uh. file into a notebook version. Uh. All right. Oh, great. So now from the command line, you can do sage-rst to uh, SWS and just translate a, a REST file into a SWS. As well, I managed to, uh, when you click upload, from the notebook, you can mm. click. Uh, you can just put a link either uh, from the web or local of mm -hmm. an RST file and get uh, uploaded uh, in the notebook. Nice. So today I will uh, maybe uh, test it a little bit more, add some duct test, some uh, some function. Can you give us the ticket for that? Yes, yeah, eleven. Uh, it's eleven four five nine. As well, maybe. This afternoon, I will do a demo of a Gmail thing I have, I've done in the last month. But first, I need to, uh, to show this. So it's a game. Okay. <laughs> the name is Quantumino. Okay, so there are 17 pieces, each of uh, uh, volume 5. And here, there's a, a box 5 by 2 by 8. So it's, there's a volume of uh, just enough to fix, to fit. 16 of those, mm -hmm. but there are 17. So for each of those you put aside, there's a one solution. Oh, cool. Okay, so wow. you put this one aside, there's one solution. You put this one aside, there's another solution. So they are all different. Wow. Some of them are like the image mirror. But you know, you, I will just put it on the table, so if you want to break, you can uh, try to fix it. <laughs> is, there a, is there a stage program that solves this? Yeah. Or the we'll, we'll, see this, yeah. we'll see in the demo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm done. Cool. There's a chair. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So yesterday, I guess I spent some time chatting with Mike and Ira about the web work integration stuff and some time talking to David about uh, how they do their math checks testing, and I guess I'll probably focus more on that stuff today. And then I participated in Jason and Carl Dieter's Prep Conference this morning. Cool. How did it go? Great. It was, it was very good. Awesome. Okay. David. Well, I uh, have talked with several people about the Selenium testing framework that we use for math jacks. Um, so that's, uh, I think, something that some other people may be interested in as well. Uh, I spent time with Rob. Uh, integrating MathJax into the notebook, and we do have a running version of that. There is nice. some work still that we'd like to do for that, but it certainly works the way it is now. Um, and uh, uh, what was it? Oh, and I spent some time with Mike dealing with the uh, uh, cross-browser issues of trying to do the single cell stuff out of web work. And I spent several hours this morning, and I think I have some stuff to talk about. Yeah, we haven't talked talk yet about that. So. Okay. So I put the first version of the single cell thing into a web work program, and we found the blockers, uh, mostly with Iris help. And uh, just mentioned one of them. The other one is that it ends up being a form inside a form, so we'll need to modify either web work or I solved that. So use, okay, they would solve oh, wow. that too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've mostly been bringing up uh, questions. So the uh, I worked with Bruce a little bit mm -hmm. about putting uh, GeoGebra up, yep. and. Um, I know something about, because I've hooked up GeoGebra to, to web work, I know something about the JavaScript side of mm -hmm. GeoGebra, but I, I think I need a consultant, to somebody who knows the, the JavaScript side of Sage, and then mm -hmm. we should be able to connect them together in such a way that they talk to each other. Uh, you're going to have, unless David has some extra magic here, you're going to again have cross-domain uh, problems. The way we solve this with web work is we actually have, we serve GeoGebra out of the same machine that web work. Mm -hmm is on. So if you have GeoGebra running on your Sage machine, then there shouldn't be any problem. We should right. be able to write JavaScript type things. So I need I need somebody to help with the JavaScript connection to Sage. I think we can do this. Nice. And I went to the prep workshop too and also <laughs> found out about Mercurial, which I think is really uh, interesting. Cool. What revision control system do you normally use? 
we're using subversion, and we, we have uh, a lot fewer contributors and a much mm. uh, uh, much more informal right. way of, of upgrading things. Uh, it's clear that if we get a lot more contributors, which would be a good thing, why we will all have to institute a lot more yeah. controls to make it work. So it was very informative. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rob. Okay. Then? Um, so I spent some time learning about the MathJax testing yesterday, mm -hmm. um, and uh, also about Sage development from Rob, um, and spent some time on my own just learning more about Python and Sage. Cool. Um, and hope to do more of the same today, and just try to keep learning. Nice. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so participated in the uh, newbie session with Rob. Uh, learned a lot about the Mercurial, just a little bit bits pieces. Uh, I'm trying to uh, hopefully get my PC running so I can actually start trying to understand it. Are you trying to install Sage on Windows? Oh, well, I'm trying to do Linux? a virtual box and yep, get Linux it. going. So yeah. trying to get that. I know something to start with, uh, so I can start doing more of the coding, so I can get more of the background information and hopefully learn more. You should talk to Volker. Yeah. He made the latest virtual machine. Oh, yeah. He made a new one. <laughs> okay. Could use testing. Yep. So, okay. And that's all. And I'm um, hopefully going to try to like, just listen in on some of these other conversations today. Cool. I've been doing the newbie stuff. Uh, Rob's talk last night. Was good. Um, I'm trying to work on some worksheets of my own and talk on Thursday. And I installed Fedora this morning, 14, and it killed my Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> <That'd be> great. <laughs> so now I can. I installed Sage last night, the newest version. So I have it on my machine here, and it's I'm, you know, using. It. So, cool. Any suggestions? Say something. Sure. So I had lots of conversations about the single cell and JML and uh, prep with, for the prep workshop. Okay. Um, anybody else want to report any status who was missed? All right. So that's it for status reports.